born January 31, 1919, in Cairo, Georgia. Jack Roosevelt Robinson was the youngest of five siblings. He followed his older brother, Mac, into athletics. Mac went off and he competed in the 1936 Olympics. This is an athlete who had won a medal under the eye of Adolf Hitler. He came back to Pasadena, and Mac Robinson could only find work as a garbage man. That's something that Jackie Robinson never forget. Robinson was a star athlete at Pasadena Junior College and became the first UCLA student to win varsity letters in four sports, basketball, football, track, and baseball. He was a local tennis champion. He was a local football stud. He was a great track star. Well, Jackie Robinson, baseball was really almost the last thing he was great at. He was great at everything. He could have done anything. While in the Army, Robinson was arrested for refusing to move to the back of a segregated bus. Robinson fought a court-martial and was eventually given an honorable discharge. Jackie Robinson was sick and tired of the U.S. Army, and the U.S. Army felt that they had a problem on their hands with Lieutenant Robinson, so they uh, agreed that he would be honorably discharged. With the Negro Leagues as his only opportunity to play professional baseball, Robinson joined the Kansas City Monarchs in 1945. That same year, he was given a life-changing invitation by Branch Rickey of the Brooklyn Dodgers. There were players in the Negro League that were just as good, if not better, than Jackie Robinson. But Branch Rickey understood that he needed more than just a superb baseball player. He needed someone who had flawless and impeccable character, and he found that person in Jackie Robinson. Despite harsh opposition, Robinson was selected as the first rookie of the year became the first man in the league in 26 years to steal his way around the bases. And in 1955, he helped the Brooklyn Dodgers win the World Series against the New York Yankees. The valor with which Jackie Robinson responded to the jeers and the hatred and the bigoted remarks and the catcalls is one of the great silent portraits in American history. Under that hail of threats and epithets, he would walk into the batter's box and you know, about a little over the third of the time, because I believe he batted a 330 something that year, he'd get a hit. That's what he did. He certainly didn't cower. He certainly didn't flinch. And there were a lot of bean balls thrown at him. Jackie Robinson wasn't just a great symbol. He was a great baseball player. He led the Brooklyn Dodgers to six pennants when he was there. And this is a Brooklyn Dodger team that was called the Bums, because they couldn't win. Jackie Robinson led them, and part of it was his fire. His fire kept them going. Shortly after being traded to the New York Giants, Robinson retired from baseball in 1957 and became a business executive. After Jackie Robinson left baseball, his fight wasn't over. I mean, he continued to fight for civil rights. He was a member of the NAACP's upper management campaign for them, campaign with Dr. King uh, to try and integrate a lot of America. Also, you know, opened up a bank in Harlem. I mean, this was a guy who this meant more to him than just his legacy as a baseball player. He was inducted into the Baseball Hall of Fame in 1962 and later died from a heart attack on October 24, 1972. In 2005, Jackie Robinson was honored with the Congressional Gold Medal. The story of Jackie Robinson changed the literal complexion of the game. It changed the complexion of images that we saw in black and white photos in newspapers and on television. It put a black man at the center of the story of America. And I think we've been an imperfect but infinitely better society ever since.